Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to integrate the integral of dx over the sine square of x. And you may say, well, that doesn't look very difficult, but if you don't know the trick, it may take you a while to figure it out. It turns out the way to integrate this is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the following times 1 over the cosine square of x divided by 1 over the cosine square of x. Who would have thought? But it turns out when you do that, it becomes a lot easier to integrate because then this integral becomes equal to 1 over the cosine square of x in the numerator divided by the sine square of x divided by the cosine square of x times dx in the denominator. And then you can write the denominator as the tangent square of x. So this is equal to the integral of 1 over the cosine square of x. And actually, you know what? Just so you can see what that looks like, I'm going to write this 1 over the cosine square of x as the secant square of x divided by the tangent square of x times dx. If you write it like this, then you might realize that if you let u equal the tangent of x, then du dx, the derivative of that, will be equal to the secant squared of x, which means that du is equal to the secant square of x times dx. Now let's take a look at our numerator. The numerator has the secant square of x dx, which is du, and in the denominator we have u squared. So this cannot be written as the integral of du divided by u squared or the integral of u to the minus 2 du. And that, of course, is a very straightforward integral to integrate. This becomes equal to u to the minus 1 divided by the new exponent plus a constant of integration, which means that this is equal to minus 1 over u plus a constant. And, of course, since u is equal to the tangent of x, this can be written as minus 1 over the tangent of x plus a constant of integration. And if you really insist, 1 over the tangent, the same as the cotangent, this could also be written as minus the cotangent of x plus a constant of integration. So either one of these two is probably a good final result for the integral of 1 over the sine square of x. And that's how it's done.